This is Maben's Week 5 Drills. I think your front cross is excellent here. I think you use a good, strong dog side, toe, and arm send. I paused it a teeny bit late. Um, but your dog side send to the green jump is is good. You're, you're really now going into your step three, and there's your step four, um, which looks really good to me. Uh, pointed downstream towards that wing on your step four. So you're blind, that blind right there. <clears throat> so I, I, I gotta tell you, I did watch, I always watch uh, the videos one time through first, at least one time in regular uh, motion so that I can hear all your verbals. And uh, by the way, all your verbals throughout the whole, everything, all your drills and your long sequence, all your verbals are great. When I watched it through the first time, the blind, I thought to myself, uh, okay, there's a little feedback. I think you could have uh, done your blind just a teeny bit sooner to get a teeny bit better um, angle uh, off that green jump. And then, and then uh, lo and behold, uh, you did try this time, and you ended up being a teeny bit too soon. I actually love this. Uh, I'm going to tell you why. I think that uh, most people, they over babysit, they over handle, they go too far because it is difficult to know when you over handled, went too far because you get success. The dog takes the jump and so therefore you, uh, or you're always just paid. Um, you yourself, the handler is reinforced by seeing the dog do what you asked it to do. If you are, so you can always be there or a little late and you'll be paid with success. But if you're a teeny bit too early, like you were in the previous one, that's when you will get instant feedback, which you got from Maven. Um, the only way to really know where the line is for the minimum amount of distance of sending is to be too short. Or in this case, do that cross too soon which is what you did on your second iteration. I think that's great to occasionally be a little too early uh, so that way you know where that line is. And then you uh, redo it again with the third. So I think that this that whole series is, uh, in my mind, textbook beautiful. A lot of people, I think, they wouldn't think that because of the, quote, missed uh, second jump when you tried that blind. I think it was perfect. Uh, I like to see that in training. Nice, nice job. Just awesome job there. Okay, so I do have some more feedback on your rear cross here. So your shoulders, you're doing most of this rear cross just with your arm. And your shoulders don't really pivot too much. So for the most part, this rear cross is great. And it works well with Maven. You do great deceleration. To create the turn, you stop uh, your feet. You make sure that you get commitment to that jump before you drive your path. And then you do drive your path um, after she crosses in front of you very well. And you are this is a very, very successful rear cross. What I would suggest, though, is trying to use more of your shoulders. And the reason is because you get away with it here with Maben but it will help you with tiny. Because I don't think you're going to get away with just swinging your arm with tiny. It works very well with Maven. But if you rotate your shoulders stronger, then it will help with tiny. It will not hurt with Maven. So therefore, I, it's good practice. And it definitely will help you all around. It will, if anything, help with Maven. It definitely won't hurt. It'll, I think it'll really help with tiny, though. So get in the habit of rotating your shoulders more. Now for this, uh, just the go on is great. Very nicely done. Uh, and your uh, connection is very, is excellent. And your, um, 
your verbals are all timed very well through here. So while this is going on, I'm going to tell you about a, a drill. A um, long time ago, I, I don't remember who it was. might have been Daisy Peel, I think. Talked about uh, penguin drills. I think you could try to do penguin drills, especially with your rear cross. So picture a penguin. Put your hands down to your side and flap your little wings, just like a penguin, right? You, your hands can barely move, right? You, like, waddle around. Um, try to do a rear cross like a penguin. Um, and the reason is because that forces you to really rotate your shoulders and not use your arms. So that's what I would suggest. I would suggest maybe trying to do some uh, penguin drills. Do all your handling with your hands at your side, just like a penguin. Everything else the same. It will force you to really rotate your shoulders. So this here, we go into a, a Yako reverse spin catchker. Um, and also very nicely done. And you get a great turn out of it. So very nicely. So in a way, um, that reverse spin that you just did is a good example of where you're rotating your shoulders, in this case, towards her strongly towards her so she assumes it's maybe going to be a front cross or whatever but it completely eliminates that uh, yellow jump as an option to create a better turn because of the strong shoulder rotation very nice job